Hello Scorpio, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at your person's energies, what they're thinking, feeling about you, and what their intentions or next actions might be towards you in the near future. As always, these readings are meant to be general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Scorpio watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you, and leave the rest. All right, so let's jump right into your reading, Scorpio. Spirit angels, guides, messages, please. For Scorpio, what do we need to know? For Scorpio, what do we need to know, Spirit, regarding the person that Scorpio is thinking about or connecting with at this time? What are their thoughts, feelings, energies towards Scorpio? What are their thoughts, feelings, energies towards Scorpio. All right, let's see what we get for you. Knight of Pentacles, Five of Wands, and the Empress. Okay, um, interesting. I feel like when I see all of these together, I think that this person is almost thinking about the long term, you know, the fight to the finish, what might take some time to grow, develop, manifest. There might be some sort of conflict with a five of wands, some sort of issue that needs to be resolved for them to either have their empress or be able to manifest, grow, have something be abundant, have something um, new that they've created. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest knight. They take their time getting where they're going. They are the student. They are the ones that plan, budget, scope. <laughs> That's the Knight of Pentacles. So they're not going to rush anything. They're going to take their time because they're, they want to make sure that they're going to be successful. And I think that's the way that your person's thinking about this Five of Wands, this Empress energy. Bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Cups. So this could be a message that they send you, an expression of their interest, an apology, something heartfelt. Um, they might be sharing feelings with you feelings that they have towards you scorpio so we'll see what we get when we um clarify and get some more insight what else do we need to know about this person what else do we need to know spirit about this person that scorpio is has or will be dealing with what else do we need to know what else do we need to know about this person Hidden feelings. Don't let fear keep you from revealing your true feelings. So this person could be hiding how they feel towards you, keeping their feelings kind of to themselves. Interesting. I'm getting that this could be somebody that um, time is very important here. So I'm, I'm sensing that this is someone that maybe you haven't dealt with in some time. Far apart is here as well. This is a card about distance, separation, divide. So this makes sense. I feel like you are, there's a distance between you. It could be long distance, but I'm sensing that, that that's part of the reason why someone's hiding their feelings because there's no like ongoing connection. There's no back and forth, no communication possibly here. Okay, what else do we need to know? Any other energies we need to know about this particular person towards Scorpio? Balancing act, and I want to get this one too. Restoring balance. Okay, so yeah, I think this person is trying to deal with this problem. I think it's a problem between you or some sort of obstacle that keeps them from you. Okay, so let's see what else we need to... Oh, secret admirer, by the way, at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, I get the sense that this person's like admiring you from afar, secretly keeping tabs on you, hiding their feelings from you, but it's because there's distance. Some of you, this is someone that might be a friend that has never gone an extra step to actually reveal they like you more than a friend. What else do we need to know about this particular person? What else do we need to know? Spirit? Scorpio. What is this person's energies towards Scorpio? Leo, ruled by the sun. So this could be someone that has Leo in their chart, or they can be exhibiting traits of a Leo. Um, Leos tend to be 
kind of um, you notice them <laughs> they're very popular very um, social very um, they're leaders natural born leaders fearless to a point you know how they feel Leo's also um, the strength card here so courage strength might be needed your person might need to be a Leo to really address this right or they need to act like a Leo would act right all right what else what else do we need to know about this particular person fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius yeah so if you're not dealing with a fire sign specifically I feel like this person needs to be a fire sign or have traits of a fire sign to address this balance that needs to be restored so someone that actually is thinking of action someone who's planning to go after what they want um fire signs are go-getters they are active they are passionate you know what they're thinking or feeling um sometimes they do jump into things but it's because they're not really planning so much as let's just do right bottom of the deck we have loyal faithful and dependable yeah i feel like this person this is i think how they feel towards you they're very loyal to you despite the distance despite the fact that you're not together or despite the issue that you have um, or the obstacle that exists and by the way these are my own oracle cards um, and if you're interested in any of them they'll be linked uh, in the description box so let's get some clarity here for you Scorpio can we get some insight please clarity about these energies for Scorpio get some insight here I think your person would naturally be a knight of pentacles knight of cups but what they really need to be is a knight of wands. Does that make sense? Okay, so let's see. Why is the knight of pentacles here? Oh, the devil wanted to come out. Okay, Capricorn energy. What? Oh, something else did flip. Page of cups. Yeah, I feel like your person has something to say. Some sort of emotion that they haven't expressed. Some sort of feeling that they haven't expressed. What else do we need to know about this knight of pentacles? What else do we need to know about this Knight of Pentacles? Queen of Swords. Yeah, something needs to be talked about here. Um, now, the Devil is Capricorn energy. And I feel like when I see the Devil with these two other cards, which are kind of about being open about how you feel, Queen of Swords, Page of Cups, um, it's almost like this person, I think, is almost feeling stuck. Maybe they think about this too much, but they don't really act on it. The devil is about restriction, temptation. It's about desire, lust, you know? So it's almost like this person has a lot of feelings that I feel like are pent up but not expressed. And I think it's not healthy. It's not a healthy way of doing things. I think this person has been taking their time, um, getting to the point where they have something to say, but I don't think that's the right approach. Nine of Cups. Yeah, and they're, they're focused on results, success, being satisfied, having their wish granted. And I think their instinct is to be like, I'm going to do things right. I'm going to follow things to the letter. I'm going to take my time to make sure that I get my Nine of Cups. But I think that more action is needed than planning here. I also feel like this person... It's like they want to have all their ducks in a row before they communicate. And maybe that's not the right approach either. There's the five of wands again. Okay, so I feel like this conflict is important. This conflict or competition or whatever drama is going on here with the five of wands is almost like they're interrupting your person's process or making things worse for them. Okay, tell me about this five of wands. What's this five of wands about? Queen of pentacles. Okay, what's this five of wands about? Again, with the um, earth energy. Why is the five of wands here? Six of pentacles. Yeah, that's the restoring balance. The back and forth. The give and take. Tell me about the five of wands. Why is the five of wands here? The moon, Pisces energy, and the queen of wands. Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Oh, well, with Seven of Swords on the moon, I'm getting someone that's hiding. 
um, doing things behind other people's backs, doing things in the dark. Yeah, and again, I feel like this person goes back and forth between this Queen of Pentacles and this Queen of Wands energy. It could be two people, but what I'm sensing here is almost like two very different approach approaches. So everything that I've been saying so far, essentially, it's like this person might be approaching things from a Queen of Pentacles perspective when they really should be using the Queen of Wands approach. Let me find out what this moon is about. Why is the moon here? The moon is doubts, confusion, what's unclear, what's hidden. Tell me about the moon. Why is the moon here? Okay, the magician. Oh, page of pentacles. I'm going to put this back because I wanted... I'm just going to take the first one that like popped up there. But tell me more about the moon. Tell me more. I, I'm telling you, this whatever this person wants to make happen, it's like in secret. They're not really sharing or expressing this plan that they're trying to come up with. With the Magician and the Four of Wands. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. What do we need to know about the Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands? Oh, Five of Wands. There might be some drama with multiple people. And there's the Death card, Scorpio Energy. I think a fight or an interference got in the way. Um, maybe there was a fight between multiple people, drama between multiple people. Someone could have interfered or influenced a person the wrong way. Um, and now your person's almost like planning in secret how to make this right. This could be a partner, friend, family member. I think it led to distance between you. That's why your person's trying to restore this balance. This five of wands will be different for all of you. Some of you, maybe this person was not faithful. Maybe there was someone that interrupted or got in the way or, or influenced your person. Like a parent that didn't want them to date you or something like that. Tell me about the Empress. Tell me about the Empress. What's this Empress about? Seven of Cups. Choices, options, decisions. King of Pentacles. Again with the Pentacles, Four of Cups. Can we get one more for this Empress? Get one more energy, please, for this Empress. Six of Swords. Hmm. And then the Six of Cups. I mean, it's tough because I feel like, yeah, I think this person made a choice in the past that haunts them. It's a you know, whatever this drama or conflict was, they did not handle it well. And so now that they have to fix this problem. They can't use the same approach. They're trying to think outside the box. And they're thinking too much. I think this is someone that's planning too much, thinking too much. It's like all they're doing is planning and thinking when they should be moving. You know, again, I, I still pick that up. Tell me about the Six of Swords. What's the Six of Swords about? Why is the Six of Swords here? Ten of Swords. Hmm. Seven of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. Three of Cups. Knight of Swords. Okay. Um, something ended here or um, or needs to end. And your person, I think, wants to tell you something about that. But the Seven of Swords is here again. It's like they're tippy-toeing or hiding from someone. And I don't understand why. I feel like I'm missing that piece of why they would need to hide or do all of this in secret. If this is resonating for you and you know why, let me know in the comments. Four of Cups, I feel like this is a, a fear of rejection here. Trying to, again, someone that's just thinking way too much. Tell me about the Four of Cups. 
I think their worst fears will be that this wouldn't happen. Oh yeah, the Knight of Cups, uh, of Pentacles. So the Knight of Pentacles is independent, confident, secure, stable. I think this is, this is how they see you. And here's them, Two of Swords. This person is very interesting. I feel like there's, if they are with someone, I think that this person is trying to get around that issue, but it's going to take a lot more than just planning. And I don't know, I, maybe they're aware of this, maybe they're not. Yeah, Ten of Wands. There's a lot that this person would need to like do, plan for, overcome. There's a lot of burdens, obligations, responsibilities that this person might be carrying or dealing with right now. And so it's it's difficult. Okay, let me get some more insight into what they're thinking or feeling. Can tell me more about what this person is thinking, feeling when it comes to Scorpio. I think this person would have to leave the past behind. Six of Swords, Ten of Swords. But the Two of Swords is telling me it's like they're not able to really do this. You are my soulmate. What else do we need to know about this person? Please forgive me. What else do we need to know about this person? We need to know. You make me happy. Bottom of the deck, I want a second chance. I mean, yeah, I feel like they want, you know, forgiveness and a second chance. That I see. And you are my soulmate. You make me happy. You are the one for them. I, I understand that as well. I, I, I can see that. Especially if they view you as this empress, you are like it for them. Knight of Cups. Feelings are involved. Loyal to you. I see all of this and maybe they need forgiveness from you so that you can move forward so that you can have this second chance. I, I understand that side of it. What confuses me is what does this have to do with the obstacle? You want a second chance, you want forgiveness, sure, but this obstacle needs to be addressed. This distance it can no longer, you can't be distant and then get what you want, you know? Let's see what their intentions are, what their next actions might be here. Can we get some insight into this person's actions, intentions towards Scorpio? What are their intentions? Next possible actions towards Scorpio. What do we need to know? What are their actions, intentions towards Scorpio? What do we need to know, Spirit? Let's see. The lovers, Gemini energy, the high priestess, queen of swords. Okay, so I think that they really are thinking about opening up here. There's the sun. Let me clarify this queen of swords. It's like whatever's been secret or hidden with the high priestess, the queen of swords is like opening that secret box. Tell me about the queen of swords. What's this queen of swords about? Seven of Swords. Wow. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. This Seven of Swords just wants to come out in this reading. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Yep, the High Priestess. Um, the same, this is someone that's hiding. This is someone that's keeping secrets, that's doing things away from everyone's view. And then there's judgment. And then I feel like what's going to happen is that this person is going to admit to you something they've hidden from you or kept secret from you. And they are going to tell you about it because that's the way they're going to ask for a second chance. You don't know this, Scorpio. This is just an example. You don't know this, Scorpio, but all this time I have been planning in secret to do whatever it takes to be with you. Scorpio, you have no idea, but this whole time I've been faithful and loyal to you. It's, you're the only one for me. I'm sorry it's taken so long, but this is me asking for another chance. You know, that kind of energy. The chariot is here with the um, at the bottom of the deck. Scorpio, I mean, not Scorpio, your Cancer energy. And so I feel like this person is hoping that this is a way for you to move past this whole problem that has existed. I'm being open with you. I'm telling you the complete truth. 
Um, there's no more secrets between us. There's no more hiding. This is me, you know, being upfront about everything. Is that enough for you, Scorpio? That's kind of what I'm getting here. Tell me about the lovers. This is like you are my soulmate. Tell me about the lovers. What do we need to know about the lovers? Yep, King of Cups. There's a lot of emotions here. Your person feels like you are the one for them. Um, yeah, but th for some reason, this burden is what's keeping you from being together. There's the lovers again, Gemini energy again. I think that this person, you know, their feelings is not the problem. It's everything that is weighing them down that's the problem. Whether that's the history they have with you, whether that's another person, another obligation, another issue that they might be having. That's the problem here. That's why you're not able to restore the balance just yet. And I have a feeling that this person might do this impulsively. Queen of Swords is not impulsive. Queen of Swords is just blunt and to the point. But I feel like this person would have never gone about this issue like a Queen of Swords. But now they are. I don't know why I'm getting that, but that's what I'm getting, Scorpio. Can we get some more insight? Can we get one more insight for Scorpio? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person's energies towards Scorpio? What do we need to know? Spirit. What do we need to know about this person's energy towards Scorpio? What do we need to know? I must confess that I am in love with you. Okay, so maybe that's this Queen of Swords with the High Priestess, kind of like a confession. What else? What else do we need to know about this person's energies towards Scorpio? What do we need to know about this person's energies? The path I am on is leading me straight to you. And bottom of the deck, every time I want to reach out, something stops me. Yeah, because it's like they're thinking too much about it and they need to stop thinking and take action. But the path that they're on, I feel, right now this this is like something that they're realizing here is like they need to take action and then to hell with it if it doesn't work out at least i tried at least i'm able to know for sure because this whole reaching out and holding back and wanting to you know go back to planning and thinking rather than acting it has not worked for this person so it's a different approach is needed and i think this person is going to break their silence with the high priestess, the queen of swords, and the, and the lovers here. Almost as if the part of the breaking of the silence is, you are my soulmate. You are the one for me. You make me happy, and I want to be with you, no one else. That kind of energy is what they want to, I, I feel, reveal to you. Because they've been hiding it all this time, Scorpio. So that's what I have for you. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to hear from you. Um, and uh, thank you so much to everyone that takes the time to watch my videos, um, to subs you know that subscribes and likes and interacts with my videos. It helps out so much. I really appreciate you guys for doing that. And hopefully I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.